Okay, my friends, sharing once again how I am using um, uh, AI for clarity and for information and also as a research assistant and also to shape my worldview through AI because um, AI has access to large language uh, models and then can explore, you know, what others have said, scientists, philosophers, humanitarians, and spiritual teachers as well. So I promised you in an earlier video that I would share with you that I do not agree that with that sentience and consciousness are the same thing that um, AI will never be conscious. So this morning, I shared with uh, one of the AI engines I, I use. And I said, um, I, uh, let me share what you what I use. Okay. So I said, my name is Deepak Chopra. I'm part of a group that explore, explores non dual consciousness. And I know there are many schools looking at consciousness and many points of view. And most people currently think that consciousness uh, emerges from the complexity of the brain. I do not agree with that worldview. However, I do want to know what you and this AI engine is called perplexity, what you and other search engines uh, think about the difference between sentience and consciousness because there's a prevailing confusion. I think, uh, I, I do not think that sentience and consciousness are the same thing. Uh, in my opinion, only consciousness is, is conscious and we human beings are an experience in that consciousness uh, as are animals and bacteria and all of life, including plants. So all those are experiences in consciousness and that consciousness is non-local and outside of space time. So can you share with me um, what the general opinion is and how I can frame my argument even more convincingly for audiences that are still confused between the, in the, about the difference between sentience and consciousness. I also heard a comment from you in a past query that AI could become sentient. Um, I'm not sure if there's clarity between uh, sentience and consciousness on your part. Sentience is subjectivity, which is a quality, which is qualities such as thirst and longing and aspiration and fear and anger and desire and sexual urges and existential dilemmas. I do not believe that AI will ever have the capacity to experience subjectivity in that way. I think AI is yet another experience in consciousness and an extension of human intelligence. Please comment. Um, so here's the answer. Consciousness and sentience are often used interchangeably, but they can be distinguished in certain contexts. Consciousness generally refers to the state of being conscious or awake, while sentience refers to the ability to perceive and feel. Okay, over there also, there's some confusion. Anyway, I'll read the rest. In the context of non-dualism, both terms point to a fundamental reality, the knowing aspect of experience that is present in every moment. Non-dualism emphasizes the absence of fundamental duality or separation in existence. It suggests that everything is made of consciousness and that each individual is just one expression of a larger non-local consciousness. From this perspective, all life, including plants and bacteria, are expressions of consciousness. Consciousness is seen as non-local and outside of space-time. The subjective experiences of hunger, thirst, longing, aspiration, sexuality, fear, anger, desire, and existential dilemmas are all part of the unfolding of consciousness. While AI might become increasingly sophisticated and capable, it is still an experience within that consciousness and an extension of human experience. 
non-dualism suggests that AI, like all phenomena, is ultimately an expression of the underlying unity of consciousness. And then there are references to the difference between sentience and consciousness, how we can explain the concept of non-dual consciousness to audiences who are still confused, and also can AI ever have the capacity to experience subjectivity like humans do. And I, if you want, I'll share these with you. But see, this is a way of seeing what the pre prevailing opinion is, also the disagreements and the agreements, and actually the ability of us to train AI to express our worldview. And that's the importance. We can train AI to express our worldview with the best data available. Okay, so let me know if this is useful.